Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, but you want to know, are they good with cats? In this video, I'm going to answer that question by polling the Boston Terrier Society community, giving my personal experience, as well as some other research articles that I found online. Be sure to stay till the end, because I'm going to give you two tips on if you're introducing your cats to your Boston Terrier, what you should do. Coming up. Everybody. Welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com, and these two kittens are my in-laws kittens. I borrowed them for this video, and this is Murdu and Ferguson. Based on the movie Brave, my daughter, who's two and a half, loves that movie. She renamed uh, her grandma's kittens. Today, what I want to answer is, are Boston Terriers good with cats? In my personal opinion, as far as Bella, yes. Bella's great with cats. She really ignores them. She doesn't even care that they're there. She might sniff them and that's about it. We don't have cats at our house. Whenever we go to our in-laws, they do. And she doesn't bother them at all. I wanted to go ahead and get the perspective of other Boston Terrier owners. And well, this is where it gets a little interesting. So I went ahead and pulled the Boston Terrier Society Facebook community. It had 318 votes on that poll in the Facebook group. 68% of them said, yes, their Boston Terrier gets along with cats. Next poll that I did was on the Twitter community. And there, it was actually the opposite. 78 votes total, only 41% said, yes, their Boston Terrier gets along with cats. Even whenever you total those two together, the majority says, yes, their Boston Terrier gets along with cats. I would honestly say it really boils down to the cat. These two kittens, I haven't introduced them yet to Bella, just because I wanted to create a separate video walking you guys through the process of what I did, making sure it's successful first before I make the video, but basically showing you guys how to do it. Okay, I had to put the kittens down because they were going a little crazy, but I really think it depends on the temperament of your cat, whether or not it's going to get along with your Boston Terrier in general, because that's been my experience with Bella. Because for example, we took Ferguson upstairs, and once again, my daughter named it Ferguson. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Either way, Ferguson went upstairs with me, and she just started freaking out as soon as she saw Bella, and Bella wasn't doing anything. The temperament of the cat is also essential whenever you're doing these introductions on whether or not they're actually gonna get along. I went ahead and you know surveyed the Boston Terror Society Facebook community, and just here's some tidbits on what those owners had to say. So the first one I wanted to bring up was Heather. She actually has a cat rescue. She says, I have a cat rescue plus seven cats at home. Our Boston Terrier gets along with all of them. Whenever we have kittens come into the rescue, Aztec, her Boston Terrier, thinks she's their mama and she's amazing. So once again, Boston Terriers do get along with cats, but it's a two-way street. The cats have to get along with the Bostons and vice versa. Here's what Larette says. She says, mine doesn't pay any attention to her cats, walks right by them, ignores them. That's been my experience with Bella. But then Robin said that her Boston would try to play with them, but literally to death. So I'm assuming she keeps them separated. Whenever you're doing these introductions, you want to do it in a controlled environment. Here are my basically two tips on what I would do when introducing cats to my Boston Terrier. Tip number one is exercise your Boston Terrier, especially if they're a younger dog. Bella, for instance, she's older, all that hyperness is out of her, but if you have a younger Boston, you're gonna wanna do some laps around the block just to get that extra energy out, because if you have a Boston that's kinda you know bouncy near your cat, it's gonna freak it out and it's not gonna go well. Tip number two is create some space. You wanna have a, maybe a designated room where your Boston cannot get to the cats, so that way whenever you're doing the introductions, they can run away whenever they're feeling a little uncomfortable. Now there's gonna be a lot more that goes into that and I'm gonna create another video that's gonna be coming up here soon within the week on basically how to do a proper introduction with your cat and your Boston Terrier. So be on the lookout for that. So my question of the day to you, if you've ever had a dog and a cat, just put in the comments below what you did in order to introduce the two. That will help other people who are looking at getting a Boston Terrier and probably have cats and they're a little concerned. Just put in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys have done in the way of introductions. And otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.